Hey, this is Casey Bryant with All On Georgia. I'm here with the Foster Twins, and I don't really, they're, they're twins, you know, so I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, I'm Isaac Foster, number 14, the quarterback, and I'm Isaiah Foster, number two, the running back. Okay, guys, so tell me how exciting it was to beat Ridgeland. Yeah, it was a pretty big win. I mean, we needed that one for Shatiga High School. I think we uh, took a great step forward. Yeah, we needed that one. Yeah, and last year we took a big loss, but that was really fun. You had 33 carries for 197 yards. That's a very impressive game. <laughs> I mean, every time you touch the ball, you're going somewhere, right? Yes, sir. I'm trying to score every time I touch it. That's what I tell my blockers every time. I'm like, y'all just block hard, and I promise you I'm going to do something with it. How long have y'all been playing together? Uh, well, seven and eight was my first year, I believe. And my I first played year, I played without him. He had played soccer. So, I mean, and I really didn't play that much that year, but I mean, I played one year without him, and then the next year he played and he became quarterback and I was running back. And after that, I mean, we just been playing together our whole life. So, Isaac, what's it like playing with your brother? Uh, it's it's fun, it's real special, you know. I'm having a bad game, I can hand the ball to him, and now he's gonna do something good with it. Sometimes it's like, say he gets hurt or something, you know, it's real scary, but you know, he's tough. So. Y'all have been playing together for a lot of years and had a lot of wins, had a lot of domination in the rec league. How would you rank this victory against Ridgeland? It's probably one of the biggest wins that we've won because, I mean, it's just we're in high school now and you really get that special feeling when you win something like that. And it was, we need to double, like I said. And I think the question that everyone in the state of Georgia wants to know is who's responsible for your hair? <laughs> Her mom. <laughs> she cuts her hair. Free haircuts. <laughs> she does my hair too. So. <laughs> yeah. At halftime, the game was tied zero to zero. What was the atmosphere in the locker room? What did the coach say to y'all? Well, coach, he kind of said everybody was kind of looking dead. I guess I don't know why, but really, coach said something about uh, last year going into halftime. The score was totally different. That was killing us. And then this game is zero to zero. So is it? It, everybody got hyped up after that, and Coach, he showed a little emotion. And then, then Coach Honeycutt came in, and he's talking to our offensive line, getting them right, because they kind of we struggled at the beginning with a lot of flag and stuff. But uh, after that, we came back in and just dominated. OK, so what did y'all say to each other in the huddle during the fourth quarter when you're putting together that first drive? Well, I mean, he usually doesn't say nothing. He just gives me that look, like, you better do something <laughs> with the yeah. ball when I give it to you. Yeah. And I mean, and, uh, we do. We did a good job. And he just gives me that look. That's all it is. And I know what he means by it. Yeah. So tell me about that pick six in the game. Oh, man, it was huge. T. Griff, he came up big. And he said when we got, after he scored, so we got to the sideline, and he uh, he had told us that Travell Banks and the other safety had put him in that spot. And, I mean, it was just huge. Like, it was a big relief. And you know, they started kind of getting some momentum. And then they had scored. And, I mean, we just needed that. We needed some momentum. And when he did that, it was just huge. It was a big sigh of relief. Very cool. Tell me about your offensive line's performance during the game. Like Isaiah said, we tell them, y'all block and we'll do something for you. Right. That's how it is, especially. Very cool. Well, congratulations on your big win and good luck this week against North Murray. Thank, Thank you. you.